All right, welcome back to Inkscape uh, for animal ecologists. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to make a figure that's going to allow us to uh, or be useful for uh, animal ecophysiology essays. So what I've done is uh, I, I want to create a figure of Pegasus, the mythical flying horse creature. So I've downloaded a few images and I want to edit them in Inkscape. So the first one I've downloaded is this running horse. And I want to get into Inkscape. So now I'm going to drag and drop it into Inkscape. Okay, so I've successfully dragged and dropped our horse into Inkscape. One thing you'll notice um, is that uh, this is a bitmap. So if I zoom in right now, you're going to see the quality of this image is going to degrade really uh, quickly um, and what I want to do is convert it to a vector um, so first thing I'm going to try and fit it onto the page so you can see there's these resize functions and if I try to resize it it's going to distort a little bit if I hold control that's going to maintain uh, the perspective of uh, the picture okay so I've got it resized to approximate the size that I want now I'm going to go path and trace bitmap and this should allow us to create a um, a, uh, a line drawing from our bitmap image and in doing so um, will allow us to edit it in, um, more successfully okay so if you were successful you should now have uh, two images overlying one another now it doesn't work um, with the video capture that I'm able to do both but I've done it before um, I started the recording and now I have uh, an image like this which is our line drawing which you see has no distortion and this is our original image which does have a lot of distortion so I'm going to go ahead and delete the one with a lot of distortion because this is the one I'm interested in now. Now this is a vector graphic and what we mean by that is it's a, a mathematical representation of a drawing based on lines and nodes. So if I click here you can see all these points and in between each of those points is a straight line or a curved line depending on the properties of that point. That's not important, what it means is that it's scalable uh, and we're able to, to use it much more easily. So uh, we're not going to lose quality if we work in this image. Now there's a couple of things I don't like about this. First, I don't like these lines down here. And secondly, I want to get rid of this mane. Uh, it's going to get in the way of the wings that I'm going to put on it in a second. Okay, so how do I get rid of it? Well, there's this eraser tool over here. So I'm going to click on that eraser tool. And I can change the width of it. Um, this little function up there. I want to make sure this um, cutout from objects is selected by default. And I'm just going to wipe over that line and that should delete uh, that, that part of the image for me. I've got to be careful not to um, touch any part of the horse. And if you want to make sure that there's no parts left of the image, um, you can uh, click on your horse and go back to selecting your nodes. And you can see there's no nodes uh, left there. There's still some nodes here, so I have to get rid of them. I'm going to go back to my eraser and uh, make sure... I wipe them all out, again, check check the uh, nodes, and oh, there's a little one left there, so I'm just going to get rid of that one there. It's not super important, but it's fun to do. Okay, so now we have gotten rid of those um, lines down there. I want to get rid of the main. I'm going to use the eraser again. I'm going to zoom out a little bit because it makes the eraser a uh, little bit bigger. Uh, and then... I'm going to zoom in a bit and that'll make the eraser a little bit smaller and I can work on the details a little bit. I'm going to go through this super quick, um, but you're obviously going to be a little bit more careful um, when you when you work on this. Okay, so there is my uh, horse is now maneless um, and it's looking pretty good. All right, so I might want to give my horse some color and uh, there's a fill tool here. Um, so it's going to fill bounded areas. So you'll notice if I press this, nothing happens. That's because this is not uh, a completely bounded area. In fact, if you 
If you zoom in on this little hook here, you'll see there's a little gap. And I can fix that uh, by just drawing a little line across there. Uh, now, if I use this fill tool, uh, I can I can fill it in a color, and I can change that color um, using the palettes at the bottom. And I want a nice fawny color because that's the color uh, of my Pegasus, uh, and it's looking pretty good. And what you'll notice that is each of these um, little bits of color will be a separate object that is separate from the horse itself. So you want to keep them all together. So the way I keep them all together is I, I highlight all of them. You can see it's highlighted four objects there. I'm going to right click and group. And that groups them all. So now when I move one, they all tend to move together. Excellent. So that's my horse. And I'm pretty happy with him. Um, now what I want to do is move to my wings. Um, so here are a picture of some angel wings that I found online. Um, very awesome. Uh, what I want to do is is drag and drop them into uh, Inkscape and you'll see um, they appear there and again there's this bitmap very low quality so what I want to do is go take uh, path um, trace bitmap and that's going to give me a um, a, uh, a solid object over the top there you, there you go it works for this one uh, and that's really nice so here's my old image and if I zoom in on that it's all blurry, um, and here's my new uh, one, which if I zoom in, it's, it stays crisp. So that's really good. So I'm going to delete the old one. Uh, here's my new one. Again, what I want to do is uh, get rid of one of these wings. Now, which one am I going to delete? Well, I can see this one's actually got a little bit of a gap there, um, but this one's going to be easier to use, uh, so I'm going to delete this one on the left. So. I'm going to get my eraser, zoom out a bit to make it a bit bigger, and just get rid of that left wing. And there's some bits left over. You can see there's another little bit still left over there. I'm going to zoom in to get him. And now the box is rebounded, so I know there's no little bits left. Okay, so that's good. Uh, now I got my little vector graphic. Hold control so I can scale it up. Oh yeah, it's looking good. And I gotta fix that little hole there. Uh, so I'm gonna zoom in on that and just draw a line across there. Okay, so now um, our Pegasus wing is uh, complete and uh, I can um, color it using my fill tool. What color do I want? Oh, probably not brown. I'm gonna go with a nice fawny gray, maybe gray, maybe, oh, no, not light gray, light gray. Yeah, light gray looks good. Maybe I want that to be dark. And then I'm going to make these just a bit lighter. Or maybe I want this one to be darkest. And then these ones, I'm going to make the next one over. And this last one, I'm going to make the lightest. Oh, yes. That is our truth. See, I touched the line there. Control Z to undo. No big drama. There we go. Now remember, um, these are all different parts. Uh, so I'm going to highlight them all. And I'm going to group them. And that's going to make them act all as one. All right. So now I can arrange it um, onto my horse. Uh, what I really want to do is have two of them. So copy and paste. So now I have two. Uh, You'll notice if I click once, it goes from these round arrows, which allow me to tilt it forward, uh, so I can have uh, my wings uh, in this orientation here. And what I would really like to do is have this wing be behind the horse, because this is going to be the one in, in the background. And I actually want it to be uh, a little bit thinner, because I want the perspective to look good. And this one I want to be a little bit fatter. So I want this to be in the foreground, and then my horse, and this to be in the background. So how do I do that? Well, the way it works in Inkscape is we're going to use something called layers. And layers are up here. Um, you can see uh, I've got uh, four layers around. I'm going to delete them. So I'm just left with layer two, which is this. And I can make layers visible by clicking on the eye. Ah, everything's gone. And now we can see everything. 
Um, but layers are great because uh, I can I can um, put different things on different layers and affect their order. So I'm going to add two layers, and it's it's going to automatically lay, label them three and four, and that's great. So now I have four, three, and two layers. At the moment, everything's on layer two, but I can change that. So I can just cut Control X, click on layer three, Control V, and paste. And now, if I hide that layer, it's just hiding that one. My horse and the other wing is still on two, and nothing is on four. I want to put that other wing on two, so I'm going to select this one, cut, go to layer four, and paste. So now I have three different objects each on a different layer, and I can start to, uh, to manipulate that. You can see layer three lies above layer two here, so it's gonna be on top, and layer four lies above all of them, but I actually want layer four to be at the back. So I'm gonna change the, the order of these layers, pressing this down, so I want it to move down to the back, and you can see there that it's now hidden behind the horse and the wing, and now I have a pretty nice looking start for my Pegasus, which I can then start to add things to. Okay, that's a great introduction to start off with.